Hello everyone. Hope you are safe and taking precautions. Today we are going to discuss about hardness testing. Hardness testing is a key element in many quality control procedures in many industries like steel plants, chemical plants, heat treatment industry, knife making and forging industry and many others. In this video we are going to answer few common questions like what is hardness testing and types of hardness testing in details. Hardness is defined as the resistance to indentation, and it is determined by measuring the permanent depth of the indentation. It is a characteristic of a material, not a fundamental physical property. In basic term, when using a fixed force, load, and a given indenture, the smaller the indentation, the harder the material. Indentation hardness value is obtained by measuring the depth or the area of the indentation using different test methods. As you see the diamond indenter in the figure. Hardness is applied to most materials, and in specific metals, is a valuable, revealing and widely used mechanical test that has been in use in different forms for over 250 years. The information from a hardness test can complement and frequently be used in tandem with other material verification techniques such as compression or tensile to provide critical performance information. One of the hardness testing machines shown in the figure. Hardness testing enables you to evaluate a material's properties such as strength, ductility, and wear resistance and so helps you determine whether a material or material treatment is suitable for the process you require. We should always evaluate the quantitative value in relation to three things. First one is the given load on the indenter, second is a specific loading time profile and a specific load duration and third is a specific indenter geometry. The four most common indentation hardness tests are Rockwell, Brinel, Vickers and Noop hardness testing. First one is Rockwell hardness testing. Rockwell is a fast hardness test method developed for production control, with a direct readout, mainly for metallic materials. The Rockwell hardness is calculated by measuring the depth of an indent after an indenter has been forced into the specimen material at a given load. This test is used for larger sample geometries. The Rockwell hardness test methods are described by a number of scales, an indenter type and a load. This test uses a different types of indenter like diamond cone and tungsten balls in sizes 1 by 16 inch, 1 by 8 inch, 1 by 4 inch and 1 by 2 inch. This test utilizes six different main load. 15 kgf, 30 kgf, 45 kgf, 60 kgf, 100 kgf and 150 kgf. So in this figure, Rockwell hardness test method illustration are discussed in four steps at a D. This figure show the overview of typical applications for Rockwell scales. There are different test methods, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, K, L, M, P, R, S, V, N, T, W, X, Y based on ASTM E18 standards. Second type is Brinel hardness testing. This test was originally developed in the late 1800s by the Swedish engineer of the same name. He wanted to find a method to control the quality, hardness of steel. His solution was to press a railway wheel bearing ball into the material and then measures the size of the mark it left. This uses a tungsten carbide ball as a indenter and then optically measures the diameter of the impression. Indenter sizes are 1, 2.5, 5 and 10 mm. Loads of varies form 1 kgf to 3000 kg force. Formula for calculating brinal hardness testing is given in the figure, where P is applied load, D is diameter of indenter and small d is diameter of indentation. This test is used for hardness testing of larger samples in material with a coarse or inhomogeneous grain structure. It used for larger samples and suitable for forging and castings where the structural elements are large. Schematic of brinal hardness testing shown in figure. The third type is Vickers hardness testing. It is suitable for a wide range of applications, including micro hardness testing. This test is ideal for micro hardness testing, can be used for case hardness depth measurements, Jomini testing and hardness testing of welds. See the figure of indenter here. This is diamond square based pyramid indenter with 136 degree apex angle. It is versatile hardness test method, used for both macro and micro hardness testing, it has a broad load range, and is suitable for a wide range of application and materials. 
This process is easier to use than other hardness tests because the required calculations are independent of the size of the indenter and the same indenter can be used for all materials irrespective of hardness. Load range of 1 to 120 kg force. How to do Vickers hardness measurements. We have seven simple steps to perform Vickers hardness testing. 1. Place your sample on the stage as shown in figure. 2. Click and drag the mouse to move the sample into position. 3. Scroll to focus. 4. Select the test method and load. 5. Choose an objective and job name. 6. Use the overview camera and position the indenter. 7. Start the test. Formula of Vickers hardness test is given here. Fourth and final type of hardness test is noob hardness testing. This test is an alternative to the Vickers hardness test in the micro hardness testing range and it can be performed on the same universal or micro hardness testing machine. It is mainly used to overcome cracking in brittle materials as well as to facilitate the hardness testing in thin layers. The indenter is same as Vickers hardness test, however instead of being symmetrical, the pyramid is elongated as shown in figure. Load is 1 to 1000 GF. It is suitable for small elongated areas such as coatings. Formula is given here. This test uses a rhombohedral shaped diamond indenter. Thank you for watching. Stay connected and be safe. Keep watching, like, share and subscribe our channel.